Today we're going to be going over refunding. So for this reservation, we're going to refund by tickets. So if I click on the reservation number and then click on transactions, and if I click on the number to open up that transaction, I'm going to see the tickets right here. I'm going to click on set refund amounts. On here, you can refund by amount. This is the number you're going to type in before taxes because it automatically adds taxes for you guys. Um, for this case, I'm going to refund by tickets, so I'm going to click on that. We have a total of three tickets. Say we want to refund one. All we're going to do is click on the drop down right under tickets to be refunded. Click on one since I'm just doing one ticket and then click on set. Right here at the bottom right, I'm going to click refund 89 plus tax. And then it's automatically going to drop our tickets down from three tickets to now two. So if I go out of that transaction, you can see the number of tickets right here, the refund, and it's automatically going to adjust that price right here in the total price. The second example is going to be refunding by amount. So we're going to do the same thing, click on the reservation number, click on transactions and go into that number. So say they went on the trip, but you want to refund, say $50. I'm going to click set refund amounts under the tickets. All I'm going to do here is type in $50 and it's automatically going to apply that tax for me. So hit set and then on the bottom right, click refund $50 plus tax. As you can see now, if we go back to our reservation, you have an underpay of $53.50, just showing that that is what you refunded. Our third example is going to be refunding a merchandise item, whether it be a security deposit or in this case, a delivery and pickup fee. What we're going to do is click on that reservation number, open up our transactions, and then underneath the delivery slash pickup, what I'm going to do is click set refund amounts under the refund quantity, put in one. And then right under unit price is where you're going to type in the amount that you want to refund. So let's just say I want to refund half of it. Let's do 250 and click set. And then I'm going to click on refund 250 plus tax. As you can see, it's going to automatically get rid of the merchandise within our reservation. If we go back to it, it is now no longer going to be there and it's just going to have the total price, not including that merchandise item anymore. Our final way to refund is just by refunding everything. Um, so say you want to refund the ticket, the merchandise, just all of it. All you're going to do is click on this refund button right here. Are you sure you want to completely refund this reservation and click on refund? And that is going to refund everything for you. So now you can see that it's zeroed out and the tickets are at zero.